Hello there. Today I'm going to create this exact effect in shot clock. I'll show you how to do it in stages. Now please note that this video isn't designed for shotcut beginners, so if I go too fast, please pause this YouTube video often to understand what I'm doing. Here goes then. Now, to begin, I have in my project folder a screen captured video I took of some tennis action from the 2021 US Open final. Also the resource video of my white flash transition, which I showed you how to make in part one of this tutorial. And also a camera click sound effects video downloaded from YouTube. So let's begin. Now I open Shotcut. I'm using version 210321 and my video mode is 1080p at 25 frames per second. Now to begin, I import the tennis video onto V1. And then create several new tracks with Control I. I select the section of video I want to cut out using I for in and O for out. So there's the beginning. And I stop it there. Then I detach the audio. Then I go to where I want the freeze frame on the tennis player's face. There, now I press S to split. I can then delete this section, but note that I don't split the audio track. I go back one frame and then export this as a frame. Note that proxy editing must be off, otherwise I'll get a blurred exported frame here. I click the Recents panel here and the top entry will be this exported PNG. Double click and drag down to V2 at the split point. I now want another exported frame, the same as the first frame, but darker. So I go to Open Other, Color and drag a black color clip down to track V3. Then I apply an opacity filter and turn down the slider. This makes the frame dark. Then I export it as my second PNG exported frame. Then it's over to Recents again, double click the top entry and drag to V1. Now I have an alternative way of making the frame darker. So I'll just break off and show you this method. I'll rewind a few steps to this stage and show you how to do this. So you copy and paste this clip. And then you apply a brightness filter to it. And turn the slider down. And this gives you a darker frame. So it's an easier way of making the frame darker. However, for the next part of the process, I still need to open and import a black color clip, apply an opacity filter and turn the slider down. So I'll now go back to where I was before and continue the process. Next, I create the white photo frame. I'll need this black color clip. Remember, it has an opacity filter applied so I can see the image below. I select the 10 by 10 grid, then I add an SPR filter, select distort, then I resize the black clip to fit over Emma's head. Then I move the black clip up to track V4, I create a white colour clip and place it on V3, just below the black one. I copy and paste the opacity and SPR filters from the black clip. Then I stretch out the edges of the white clip to make each edge 10 pixels wider than the black clip to create a white border. Then I uncheck the opacity filters from both the white and the black clips. Then I hide the lower tracks and export this border as a third exported frame. and I re-import it by double-clicking in the Recents pane like I did before. I'm going to save my project now and then save it again with a slightly different name. I can then delete the black and white clips and stack my new imported frame onto V3. Then I apply a blend mode filter to this clip and set it to add. This makes the black transparent. 
Oops, I forgot to unhide those two tracks. I select the clip on V2, then it's back to filters and I apply a crop rectangle filter. I need to click transparent here to make the outside edges transparent and I crop it carefully to fit just inside the photo frame. Next I need to import my white flash resource video that I made in part 1. And I'm going to place it on V4. And copy the blend mode filter across from the black and white frame. I decide to add a camera click sound. So I've been searching YouTube and I found a royalty free sound effect video. So I add an audio track and import the camera click video to track A2 and position the click carefully. It sounds a little quiet so I add a gain or volume filter and turn the slider up a bit. And there we are. Now I'm going to complete my little video with some fancy text. Now I made this text quite easily but not with shortcut. Instead I go to a site called Cool Text. I choose the skate text style and type Emma. Then set it to 100 pixels and then download the generated PNG file. It's free and easy. And then I repeat the process with the name Radu Kanu. Download. Then I go to my desktop and move the two downloaded PNGs into my project folder and import them into my shortcut project. Now I'll need to add another track here using Control i Then it's a matter of resizing and positioning the two text tracks to give me a nice artistic effect. I add a fade into these text tracks and make sure adjust opacity instead of fade with black is selected. Finally, I chop off the ends of all the tracks using shortcut O for out and add fade out to black to end my demo video. I stretch out the audio commentary a little bit and then add a long fade out to finish. And there we are. Beautiful. Well, if you don't believe in fairy tales, choose it because there's one happening right now in New York. Now it's time for a lie down and a nice cup of tea while my video is exported. And here's the result. Beautiful. Well, if you don't believe in fairy tales, tune in because there's one happening right now in New York. And finally, here's a short information video I made about Emma Raducanu, all made with shortcut. I hope you can spot the two camera flash transitions. That's it. Thanks for watching.